everyone. My name is Astrid Reeves and this is my studio. Welcome to my studio. So today I decided to uh, switch up the camera angles a little bit and uh, do something different to see if you guys uh, like that better. So definitely let me know that in the comments down below. So today I'm going to be doing a painting um, that is inspired by a flower that I saw on one of my morning walks. I like to get up and take a walk about a half hour every morning, you know, just to get some exercise. Uh, you know, I tend to sit a lot during the day and so it's good to just get out, get some fresh air, get the body moving, you know, move. And uh, so anyway, so I walk through the neighborhood around my house and it's been really beautiful weather lately. Cool, crisp, sunshine and um, you know really invigorating I love that kind of weather and so anyway I walked past this one garden and people have these beautiful gardens I don't have a green thumb my mother does <laughs> but I don't I, I killed ivy <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible but anyway I did so uh, yeah I actually threw it away in the dumpster my dad fished it out and uh, said, no, we can bring this back to life. I said, good, you try. <laughs> I got it that far. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so I was inspired by this beautiful flower. I'm going to show you a picture of it. It's actually in the sunflower family, and it's got all these beautiful colors, and I thought, wow, how dramatic, how special is that going to be, and I want to make a painting with those colors, and Obviously, I'm doing a Dutch pour, acrylic pouring type uh, painting. I love the fluid art, you know, that I'm making. It's so much fun, and you get to see the colors blend uh, together in spontaneous ways. So, uh, but I'm going to start with, <laughs> and then you never know quite what's going to happen. So, I'm going to start with uh, the colors that I'm showing here, and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, let's paint. Okay, so first I'm going to, this is taking some getting used to for me. I'm used to talking into the camera. Now you just see my hands. Um, okay, so first I'm just going to put down uh, the base layer, white. Okay, good. So now I've got my white base layer down. And basically what I'm going to do to create this flower is uh, this beautiful yellow and magenta flower. I'm going to approximate the colors of the flower as close as I can, but you know, this is a painting, so I get artistic license, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to make a big... Start well away from the edges. Okay. That is alizarin crimson, and this is, I believe, mauve. So I'm going to kind of drizzle these together to try to approximate the color that goes into the yellow. So pretty. Such a beautiful, deep color. And then in the center of that flower, which by the way belongs to the sunflower family, is this dark brown spot. Okay, good. And so now I'm going to do a little bit of gold around the outside. There's a little bit of gold. And then I'm just gonna do, let's see, how's that gonna work? Well, <laughs> very carefully, I wanna do leaves down here, right? And then the petals will go out that way. That's the idea anyway. So here we go. Just a little bit of green. colors because you know 
green leaves are different colors. I'll add a little bit of gold in here too. I think this color combination, if it works, is going to be really pretty. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it all works out. And here's kind of like a, a darker green. All right, good. So now let's do the white. If those are bubbles or actual globs. Gosh, I hope, hope they're not chunks in my paint. That would be unfortunate. All right, good. Oh my gosh, wish me luck. Okay, well, that might have been a little bit too much brown. I think what I'm gonna do, gosh, I, I've been doing this more lately, and I definitely don't like those brown spots up here. Yuck, ee. oh my gosh. Let me just get rid of that, even though it's, a, oh God, how that, Yeah, let me get rid of some of this. Well, I'm gonna leave it there for just a second. Wow. Well, you know, you know, I, I like this. That, that's, that's okay, that's pretty. You know, and it's kind of a dark flower, but I don't want brown to be so dominant. The rest I can just cover up by putting white on there. But I want to add more. Okay, let me put some white down first. Whoa, I think I might actually need to. Oh my gosh, I was hoping to get big, beautiful petals this way. I know what this needs. I'm just going to, yes, there we go. Now we're talking. Wow, that's a big bubble. See if I can't save this painting somehow without scraping it all off. I think adding the brown was problematic.
okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if that improved it or not, but at least I got some of the dark. I could probably work with this here. Let me just get rid of this. Yeah, I think I'll leave this here. That looks fine now, it's less brown. So you see how I did that? I just took it out of neutral by adding more color to it. Um, and let's see, <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. But I'll leave that, add a little more yellow here. I mean, after all, it is a sunflower.
Wow, I look a little, a little more crazy. I think my hair got in the paint just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, whatever. Um, anyway, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, I think I managed to create an interesting painting. We'll see how it dries. It definitely is not even close to what I had in mind when I started out with. But, you know, the, with the way fluid art is and the paint moves around and it mixes the way you don't want it to and uh, then the, you know, the whole trick is to get it to move around in the direction you want it to and mix the way you want it to. And sometimes it's, I don't know, for me, I find it, I have more control with my breath. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll check back on this painting in a couple of days. It actually takes up to four days. It's summertime now. So it takes up to four days for a painting to dry. I have discovered, <laughs> which is why I haven't had a dry painting yet <laughs> for you guys. So anyway, but I really want to do that. Stay tuned and I'll show you the dried painting. And if you're new to my channel and if you like what I did and how I explained how to fix the painting, then uh, please hit like and subscribe down below and leave your comments or questions. All right. Just want to point out some interesting parts. I love this dark through here and then there's a flower you know, it uh, kind of looks like fire. And then I made all these leaves up here and another flower, another flower up there. Try not to turn it sideways. And then I wanted to keep like a little restful area there. And some flowers, get the glare out. You know, so these flowers kind of flow like that. And then I made these, the leaves look kind of flower-like too. So um, this painting I definitely struggled with. Uh, because it actually turned into mud and I left a little bit um, just for contrast you know there's the mud <laughs> and um, also you can kind of see it a little bit in the outlines but I thought that created a really cool contrast um, in the painting itself so but uh, I did wrestle with this one and it gave me a run for my money let's see if I can get a hold there we go but I did it. I feel very happy with how it turned out. And But I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, please leave your comments down below. Uh, let me show you this actually on the side. <laughs> before, oh my God. Look at the, the green dripping down the side. Isn't that cool? And then um, on the other side, let's see. Not so much. A little bit here. You know, I love that pattern. Oh, that's a cool angle, you know. And here, this, the pink and the green, and kind of a little bit peachy color. That's, okay, not so much there. But you can see that. That looks cool. I love that. And a little bit along here, too. Okay, great. So... Yep, it's going to finish drying, and then it'll actually, once it's dry, there will be no glossy shine to it, which I love, and because it makes it easy to take a photo, and I just don't like something super shiny. That's just me. So anyway, um, there you have it. There's my painting. So definitely, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe, and I'd like to hear what you think about this painting. So please hear, leave your comment down below. I like interacting with my viewers. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.